皆さんこんにちは豆腐部の光一でございます What the hell was that? So, actually, that was my Japanese video final from high school. That's like four years ago. I feel like most Japanese classes have video finals in common. I feel like most of us share this experience. So, I actually came across my Japanese final the other day, and so I'd like to share that all with you. Mostly so you can make fun of us. So, I made this with a few other people. Originally, it was supposed to be a two minute Japanese Mentos commercial. Instead, it turned into this gargantuan 21 minute weird escapade, I guess. So, what I'm showing you is the abridged version. Obviously, you can't put that much time on YouTube. So, I'm going to be showing you only the interesting parts. You can watch the full version over on tofugu.com. So, the previous scene you just saw, that was, of course, the beginning. The extreme friendship slash who knows what the hell they're doing goes on for a few minutes longer. Then they get into some fight over Mentos. They beat the crap out of each other, and Buddha and Jack, the other guy, split ways. Later on, though, Jack finds out that he has a huge telephone bill. He goes and talks to his roommate Vincent, who also doesn't know anything about it, and then they realize that Buddha has been breaking into their house and making long distance telephone calls to Mentos Japan. Deep storyline, I know. So here, Vincent the roommate gives Jack an inspirational speech telling him to pick himself up by his bootstraps. The solution to their problem, he says, guns. He takes them into another room full of guns. My friend has a lot of guns, don't ask. While they're looking at their guns, the Quest telephone guy comes by. Threatens to kill them if they don't pay their bill, and then leaves, saying he'll come back later tonight. Yeah! 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 So once again, Jack gets flustered and doesn't know what to do. Luckily, his roommate reminds him that he has a lot of guns, which apparently can solve anything. Everything does go wrong, though, when the roommate goes out and checks the mail. Here you can tell that Jack is a Star Wars fan. Now 
Jack is out for revenge. Little does he know though, he's about to get some assistance. Melvin, great warrior of the East, appears out of nowhere and tells him the story of Buddha. Apparently, Buddha was Melvin's student at some point, and that's how he went wrong. ガシはノーベル。ガシのワイヤー。何が欲しい?ブルーを立つために、あなたを立つ方へあげる。手始めにこの話をよく聞いて。ブルーは私のセットをした。え?バカ。バカ。バカ。おい。ブラワスゴイバカでした。何もわかりませんでした。お前バカ。お前バカ。and then from here he throws rocks at my crotch. Once again, the full version is available at tofugu.com. Due to Melvin's constant abuse though, Buddha turns bad. He goes and eats from the Tree of Reason, which when you eat it gives you extreme power, but makes you evil. Buddha and Melvin fight, but Melvin barely gets away, thanks apparently to his ability to teleport on top of houses. From here we cut back to the present, where Melvin gives Jack his gun back, and they then go try to stop Buddha, who has apparently been loitering on their lawn for the last six hours. So of course, we can't forget about the Quest Telephone guy, who promised to come back that night. He does, and poor Melvin, always getting involved. And finally, we go to the part that's necessary in every single high school film. The always necessary Mortal Kombat theme song scene. And finally, since this video originally was supposed to be a two-minute Japanese Mentos commercial, we tie the thing up with a Mentos theme. The Fresh Maker. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. The full version can be found on tofu.com. See you all around next time. Thank you for watching. Boy. <laughs> <laughs>